Today I'm going to be showing a tutorial on how to do lovely and easy work makeup or this makeup right here where I'm dancing. Welcome to my early morning before work face. Starting off with sunscreen, this is one of my favorites. Elta MD 50 SPF with zinc. It's super good, full coverage and zinc also helps with anti-aging, it protects your skin. Like always, what you do to your face, make sure you do to your neck. Then I'll be taking the Peripera Peach Face Primer. It has CC cream and SPF 30, so I am doubling up on the sunscreen. And I'll be rubbing this all over and applying it to my neck as well. Taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender Damp, I'm gonna just push in all the product. And of course, I have pimples, beautiful. Taking the Makeup Forever 5 Camouflage Cream Palette. A little dirty because I use it often, but I'm going to take the green because it takes away or covers red. So with a concealer brush, I'm just going to be applying it in the red areas of my face. And I'll be sure to really blend it in or press it in because then when I apply my foundation on top, it'll look like I've never had a pimple in my life. Well, that's not true, but it'll look really nice and it'll be covered. Once again, with my damp beauty blender or my sponge, I'll be pressing it in, making sure that the green isn't clumped up and that it'll be nice to apply my foundation on top. Taking my NYX Strobing Cream Away We Glow in the pink champagne color or the AWGS CO2, I'm going to be applying it in the high parts or the highlighting parts of my face. I'm just patting it in because I want my primers and my sunscreen and everything to stay in place and I want also the strobing to look very natural, very subtle. I'm not going to the beach or a party or anything, I'm going to work so it has to be nice yet subtle. Taking my favorite foundation at the moment, my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Tawny. I will be applying it with a flat foundation brush and I will just be smoothing it over my face making sure that I have an even flawless layer, but I will be building up. So I'm gonna do a thin layer at first and then add a little more in the areas that aren't covered. To perfect the foundation, once again with my damp sponge, I will just be pressing it in quickly, super quick process, just to make sure everything is smoothed out. Taking then the cream contour sticks from KKW Beauty, this is the color medium. I will be putting it on the back of my hand and then with another beauty blender, I will be applying it to my cheekbones for contour. Now this step isn't necessary for everyday work, but I just wanted to do it today. For concealer, I'll be taking KKW Beauty in the number five. I'm just gonna do a pinch of concealer, nothing crazy. Just enough to highlight very naturally just some dots all over the face, truthfully. Nothing like when I'm going out or when I'm gonna take photos. It's just something that I wanted to add a little more glow and light up my face. And then with my damp sponge, I will just be pushing the product into my face or beating my face as they say and just making everything have a very smooth, flawless finish. So annoying, I'm sorry, I just don't stop dancing. But for my setting powder, I'll be applying just a little Derma Blend with my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. And I'll just be pressing in the product and very lightly because the Estee Lauder foundation, I have combo to oily skin and it's very matte on me. So I only apply a little bit of setting powder because I don't want to dry or look like a cracked pot of clay throughout the day. Taking my favorite bronzer, Hula Benefit, perfect for an everyday contour bronzing. I have officially hit the pan with a Morphe E4 brush, angled, perfect application. Highly recommend this brush, I really do. Going to get some bronzer, pat off the excess, and then apply it to my cheekbones. I try to keep my application upwards where my cheekbone is and above because that helps lift, define, and slim the face. 
so I always make it a point to keep it above my cheekbones. I highly recommend you do the same because it's a very flattering technique. If you do it below, it'll drag your face, it'll make it look a little more masculine. Then as usual, a little bit on my chin and then I will apply a little bit to my neck. Followed by my forehead. A lot of bronzer to warm up the face, helps define it, help makes it look very nice. You know the drill. Taking a blending brush from the Sephora Pro Collection number 10, I'm gonna be taking some bronzer on that and then applying it all over my eye. Bronzer for your skin color is perfect for an everyday eyeshadow because it helps have a very polished look and it also helps contour your eye and warm it up. If you wanna look very polished, put together, very nice, but yet effortless, I highly recommend using bronzer as your eyeshadow. Taking the stippling brush from the Sephora Pro Collection number 44, I'm going to be with a very light touch, I try my best to have a very light touch, blending out my powders, my bronzer, etc. to make it look very seamless, very flawless, and that it looks absolutely perfect for an everyday look. It's important to me to blend every layer of powder that I add to my face because I want my skin to look flawless and very seamless in real life. I want it to have the same look and effect as it does in my photos. So it's super important to always blend to be flawless. Taking a Sephora smudge brush, I will then be taking some of my Hoola Benefit bronzer and I'll just be connecting the top eyeshadow or where my eyeshadow is on my eyelid to the bottom lash line because I want it to have a monochromatic look and it's perfect for every day. With the same blending brush I used for my eyeshadow number 10 from the Sephora Pro Collection, I will now be contouring my nose. I apply a little at a time and build up. Because this is for work, I'm going to do it lightly. Once again with my stippling brush number 44 from the Sephora Pro Collection, just blending out my nose contour and blending out once again my bronzer application. Taking a Japanese cream shadow, the Wink Glow Eyes. This eyeshadow is amazing. If you're a girl who loves to wear just a little bit of sparkle or a little bit of glow, glitter, whatever, this is perfect because it's so natural. But then if you're dramatic like me, you can really build it up and really make it sparkle and it stays. There's not a single drop of fallout. Plus it's super cheap, it's $7 on Amazon. You cannot complain about that. Taking the Man Eater palette from Tarte, I'm gonna take the color Midnight. With my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush, I'm just gonna be lining my top lash. And then once again with the smudge brush from the Sephora collection, I'll be taking the color Saucy and just applying it on top of the bronzer on my lower lash to give more depth. And then just to catch any fallout and fix the excessive shadow I might have applied. I'll be taking the MAC blush in the color Mocha. With my Morphe E53 brush, I will just be patting in the blush or my product. I apply it on top of the bronzer and really like them blended. Very 90s supermodel. I'm absolutely obsessed with blush. And then for mascara today, I'll be using the Colossal Volume Maybelline Mascara. Taking the new Estee Lauder Illuminating Powder in the color Solar Crush, and with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03, I'll be patting in my product once again on top of my cheekbones. Just giving a little subtle glow, but nothing crazy. I wanna look healthy, but professional. Then once again, stippling the powders and with every layer, making sure it looks seamless and perfect. Taking some Caldely or Caldely spray just to soften the powders and then my All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray to lock it in for the day. Taking my favorite nudie pink, the NARS Velvet Matte Lip in the color Intriguing. This is the absolute perfect nude pink for olive skin. 
So thank you so much for being here and dealing out with my attempts of dancing or my dancing skills, however nice you feel like being. I hope this everyday lovely and easy makeup works out for you. Let me know if you're going to give it a try or let me know if you've tried it and you loved it. Thanks so much for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook page. Love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.